to Larry County Library presents Painting With Me, Michaela. Thank you for joining me today. Here are the supplies we'll be using for today's class. An eight by 10 inch canvas. You'll need a paper plate to put your paint on. You will also need a single paintbrush, but having a second one is optional. You will need a paper towel and a clean cup of water to clean your brushes throughout the process. Colors that are good to have are blue, red, yellow, white, and black. So let's pour our paint. The first color we'll be using today is black. Since this class was specifically made for the Three Rivers Library branch, we're going to be painting a nighttime scene at the river. We'll be painting the top and bottom of our canvas with the color black in order to represent the dark night sky. Once you are done painting your black, you will be dipping your brush into blue. We will be mixing blue and black to create a dark blue color to add to the night sky. Once you are done adding the dark blue to your night sky, you can clean off your brush. Make sure to clean it thoroughly with your cup of water and your paper towel. The next color we will be using is the bright blue and we will be adding it to our night sky. At this point, you want to make sure that every inch of your canvas is covered with paint and that there's no white showing through the paint. After you're 
are done adding blue to your night sky, we will be mixing blue and yellow to create a nice green color. You will be also adding this to the night sky. While your paint is still wet, adding the green to your blue will blend it into the wet paint and make it look like a nice luminescent sky. Before moving on to the next color, make sure you clean your brush thoroughly using your cup of water and your paper towel. The next color we will be using is blue again to create our water. You can dip your brush into your green again and also add it to the water so that it looks like the night sky is reflecting into the lake. Once you're finished adding your green, clean your brush off again for the next color. We will be using black to create a mountain landscape in the background. The usual shape of a mountain is kind of like a triangle. So we will be creating different triangle shapes in the background to make them look like mountains. Still using the color black, we're going to be painting our trees. We'll start off by painting the trunk of the tree by painting a straight line down into the mountains. Your lines can be long or short because trees come in all different shapes and sizes. After you paint your tree trunks, add some leaves. You can add leaves to your trees by simply painting lines going from the trunk of the tree outward, like this. Once you're done painting your leaves and your trees, make sure you clean your brush using your water and your paper towel.
Next, we will be painting stars in our night sky. We will be using the color white to first paint a moon. Whenever you're at Lake Kawea, the moon is usually out. Tonight, we are painting a full moon. You can paint the full moon by simply painting a circle shape in the top of your night sky. To paint the stars, get the little corner of your brush and paint little dots into your night sky. We will also be adding stars to the lake. It will make it appear like the night sky is reflecting in the water. Once you paint your white stars, you can clean your brush and the next color we're gonna be using is yellow. We're gonna be painting yellow stars in the night sky. A painting is never really done until you add your signature. You can either add your first name or your last name or your initials. I like to add my signature into the right bottom corner of the painting. And here's our finished painting. Before you are finished painting, make sure you clean off your brushes with your water and your paper towel. It is always important to clean up after a fun time of painting. Make sure you throw away any trash as well. Thank you so much for painting with me.